Yeah, he absolutely That's mash his play to some play. Is he going to get the one shot? He gets the one hit KO! Hey everybody, welcome to Pokemon Feet. Pokemon facts, easter eggs, and trivia. I'm going to try to teach you something you don't know about the Pokemon series. But if I fail, eh, whatever. Let's do it. Perhaps in a strange throwback to their originals, the developers of Fire Red and Leaf Green included an anti-cheating feature in which hacking in a Mew to the game would cause the Pokemon to ignore every order you gave it, regardless of the amount of badges the player has. This was also the case with the hacked in Deoxys, but was not carried on through to any of the DS games. Be in Gen 1, have cut, use cut on tree, save on top of cut tree, restart game, become tallest man in the land. Junichi Masuda has a daughter named Kiri, who happened to have been born right before the Japanese release of Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. Having been the director of these games, Junichi Masuda actually was able to name an NPC after his newborn child. Do you recall a young girl living in Sotopolis City who hands out berries to the player every day? Yep, her name is Kiri. Pikachu's so freaking adorable. No wonder it ended up being Pokemon's mascot. But have you ever wondered where Pikachu's name comes from? It's actually a combination of the words Pika Pika, which in Japan is an onomatopoeia for the idea of sparkles, and Choo Choo, which is what the Japanese use to represent the sound of squeaking. So Pikachu is literally Sparkle Squeak, probably due to its electric typing and the fact that it's based on a mouse. In the main series of the Pokemon franchise, there are six male fighting type experts and three female fighting type experts. These are, respectively, Bruno, Chuck, Brawly, Marshall, Kyo, and Mitch for guys, and Greta, Maylene, and Corina for females. That being said, Brawly is the only male in this list to be depicted with shoes on, and Maylene is the only female to be shoeless. According to an interview with Yusuke Omura in Nintendo Dream, Chantal's theme is based entirely on black cats. She is referred to as being seen as a Neko Musumi, which literally translates as cat daughter or cat girl, and the ribbon around her neck is shaped like a cat's head, with the brooch being the nose. If you're newer to the Pokemon franchise, you'd be surprised to know that prior to Generation 4, moves would either be special or physical according to the type that move was, instead of it being based off of the individual moves themselves. That being said, despite Dark-type moves being exclusively special before the split occurred, every single Dark-type move that had been introduced before Generation 4 was changed over to become physical for some reason. In the beta for Pokemon Red and Blue, Omnite was referred to simply as S. S was a derivation of the French word for snail, escargot, which also happens to be the name of a popular restaurant dish based off snails. Yum. And to finish up this episode, let's kick on back to Generation 1 and an NPC I'm sure you're all familiar with. Remember Bill? The guy who created the Pokemon storage system that we still use to this day? Well, I'll have you know that the first Pokemon he ever caught was an Abra. Oh yeah. And he's lactose intolerant. Who knew? Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching this week's episode of Pokemon Feet. If you liked it, feel free to let me know with a like or a comment. Both of those are pretty freaking amazing. And if you think you could put up with me again, maybe even hit that subscribe button. I don't know, optional, but it'd be pretty cool. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this week. I hope you guys learned something, and I hope to see you next time on another episode of Pokemon Feet. Who's that Pokemon? Foot. Mamoswine! Mamoswine! Foot.